I was all set to call the family meeting for this morning and then Rick comes out with this comment that he'd heard noises last night. <laughs> and you think he heard us? Well, yes. No, I, yeah, I don't know. I, don't look at me like that. Well, I just want to make sure that there's no other reason that you're procrastinating on this. Like what? Well, I don't know. Maybe there's a part of you that's worried about their reaction. You know, that they won't approve of me staying over. And, you know, they were pretty close to Flynn. No, no, no. They love you. It's me. I, I don't know why I'm so nervous about having the conversation. Well, this is a big step for the family. But it's also a big step for me too. Yeah, I know. And I, I won't put it off for much longer, I promise. Look, if it helps, I can be at the family meeting too. No, I think this is something I need to do on my own. Thank you. Oh, that one's mine. No interrupting, am I? No. no. There's plenty of food if you're hungry. Ah, uh, no, that's all right. Maddie's going to make lunch. I'm just going to get some CDs and then head back. Okay. What are you guys up to tonight? Oh, nothing. Why do you ask? I was just checking. They're showing some old films at Yabby Creek. I was wondering if you were going to go. Why is that? Because you think we'd remember the old black and white days? <laughs> Actually, we were thinking about staying in. You should take Maddie. Where? Yeah, no, I might. I might. Have a good lunch. He knows about us. Oh, don't be silly. But why else would he be asking all those questions? Maybe he genuinely thought we'd like to see a film. Mm. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because you're going to tell them soon. Mm. So sit down. Yeah, I just... Uh... Yeah, I think. Okay. Come on. The way he was going on about it, it's as if I opened the doors and the robbers in myself. The bloke sounds like he's on a power trip. I know he's trying to do the right thing by Grandad, but take it out on me. Well, maybe that's your problem. This whole setup, working for your family. What do you mean? It's high maintenance. You're never going to feel independent while someone's always looking over your shoulder. That's exactly how I feel, but it's not like I have another option. Yeah, but you do. You could always work at my bar. You have a bar? Yeah. Didn't I mention that? No, you didn't. He's obviously trying to be mysterious. Oh, well, you certainly were. <laughs> well, the office there, it's a great place. It's not quite as like key as this. Yeah, I might just try and stick it out here. I'm sure Tony will get sick of hassling me sooner or later. Top up. Why not? Mm. Anyway, have a think about it. We've just had a robbery and you're giving away free drinks, are you? Your information, he bought the whole bottle. Check the till if you don't believe me. Okay, I'm sorry, just looked that way, alright? Yeah, of course it did, because you wanted it to. Mother, do you think I'm getting some kind of enjoyment out of the way you're behaving lately? How many times do I have to tell you I'm fine? Well, you can tell me until you're blue in the face, but I'm not going to believe you because you're not. You're incredible, you know that. Martha, I am concerned about you. You might not be with Jack anymore, but I still think of you as family. You know what, you're right. You're not enjoying this anymore. Neither am I. So why don't we change that? And what are you talking about? I'm talking about getting you off my case once and for all. I quit. Martha, hang on. How'd you go? Well, I don't want to see maybe tonight. Oh, so they're going to be at home all night. Well, it looks things, yep. Oh, well, I guess that's okay, you know. It's not really urgent or anything. We can always wait till the time's right. Yes, of course we can. I'm kidding. I want for tonight to happen as much as you do. I just wish we could be honest with them. Yeah, I can I can see it now. Hey, Sal. Hi, Rick and Maddie. What are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm just going to go upstairs and get it on. <laughs> yeah, okay, that was not going to work. <laughs> so what do we, what do we do? Can we sneak into one of the caravans or something? I think they're all booked out, and you know what? I wouldn't really want to. Sally's trying to run a business, after all. Yeah. Then I guess I could just come over really late when everyone's gone to bed. Oh, how are you going to sneak out without Tony realising? Trust me, I'll think of something. Sorry, maybe I was being a bit oversensitive about Rick's comments. It was probably just an innocent question. Regardless, if it makes you feel better, I won't stay over tonight. Oh, is that what you'd prefer? No. No, not at all. The thought of going home to an empty bed has no appeal whatsoever. Well, oh, good. Because it doesn't feel right when you're not here. So how are we going to play this tonight? Do you want me to climb up in through your bedroom window? <laughs> oh, I'm sure we'll work something out. Mm. See you later. Bye. I just 
wanted to scream. You don't think I was being too harsh on Tony, do you? No, of course not. But still, I can't help thinking it was my hangover for talking. It was never easy to leave a family business. And you know why? It's a comfort zone. You know the problem with comfort zones is you become too afraid to step out of them. Yeah, I guess. Come on. There's a big wide world out here. Beginning in there if you want. <laughs> Welcome to my humble establishment. It doesn't look like much now, but believe me, that's up later. Well, come on. You come this far. At least let me give you the grand tour. She quit, just like that. Yeah, well, it's been brewing for about a week, to be honest. What do you mean? Oh, it's... She's been really, like, forgetful and rude to customers, and, and, and she's always tired, like she's been partying all the time, you know? And, and then last week, I caught a drinking on the job. I'm sorry I didn't say anything to you. I didn't want you to worry. I just, you know, I know you had a lot on your plate with Rick, and so did Martha. Yeah, well, I know she's still dealing with this whole Ash thing. Yeah, which is why I've been cutting some slack, but Sal, it's just gone too far, you know? Yeah, well, I had no idea that the problems had escalated. Yeah, I think she actually had an all-nighter last night, too. Oh, that would explain it. I heard somebody come in first thing this morning. That must have been her. Probably out with that Cam guy again, no doubt. Cam? Oh, it's just some guy she met in the bar here, but he's quite a bit older than her, Sal, and I don't know they've been hanging out a lot. And to be honest, I don't think he's really the kind of guy she'd normally go for. Not to mention the fact that she's hardly ready to get into another relationship. No. So, what do you think? Yeah, it's nice. Nice is not really how I'd put it. But if you're interested, the bar job's yours. Well, what kind of a boss are you? Well, the best kind. Generous. How generous? Well, I guarantee you'll earn more working here in one night than you will working for the surf club for a whole week. In fact, with tips, you could even triple your money. Yeah, and what do I have to do for that? You just flash that beautiful smile of yours and keep the drinks coming. Sounds easy enough. Babe, trust me. They're gonna love you. Hmm. Well, I'm all yours. When do you want me to start? How's next week, sir? Great. Fantastic. I'll let the girls know you're joining the team. You made the right decision, Martha. Trust me. my last paycheck, thanks. Can't we talk about this? There's nothing to talk about. Besides, I've already got a new job. A new job? Where? Working at Cam's Bar in Yabby Creek. Not that it's any of your business, so can I just get my check and I'll be out of here? No, it doesn't have to be this way, though. Let's face it, Tony, we don't get along. Oh, and you think it's that simple? Yeah, I do. Wow. You're in more trouble than I thought, you know? Martha, you need to go into the room of mirrors, you know, and have a good, long, hard look at yourself. Because that beautiful woman that I know is buried deep in that anger somewhere. This is necessary. I used to be your father-in-law. There's nothing we couldn't talk That's about. That's right, Tony. You used to be my father-in-law, but you're not anymore, okay? So can I just have my paycheck? <laughs>